Hey everyone, uh, this is just a video on a project we're going to do in our class this quarter and it is going to use Desmos. So uh, right now I'm at desmos.com. If you're not familiar uh, with it, you'll be learning a lot about it this quarter. Uh, a lot of people use some of the basic features, but we're going to uh, get into some of the more advanced features as well. Um, so you go to desmos.com and then you can either click the graphing icon or just open graphing calculator. Uh, there are a lot of other tools they have that we're not going to go into, uh, including a 3D calculator, geometry, um, scientific, some other stuff. But uh, we're just going to do the, the graphing for now. So uh, we click on the graphing calculator, it opens up a screen like this. And uh, you basically just type in equations and it will uh, show the graph. And like I said, there's going to be a lot more advanced features that we're going to go through as well uh, throughout this quarter. Um, you may notice I have my name up here. Uh, so I am logged into an account. You can create a Desmos account to save graphs. And uh, you are going to want to do that. And we'll have a, a separate video for that. But the overall project, just want to give you a kind of basic idea of what's going to happen. Uh, you're going to pick a picture. I've picked this uh, picture of Calvin and Hobbes from the 10th anniversary book. Uh, it's on the cover there. And uh, what we want to do is you want to model that picture with equations. So everywhere that you see a line, uh, you're going to put in a line. Now you don't have to do you know the whole picture. So uh, what I've done here is I'm uh, model Calvin. Uh, haven't done Hobbes yet. Um, a little Calvin's probably enough for a quarter right there's going to be a lot of equations that you need for that uh, so to do the whole thing would probably take a little too long uh, going through just one quarter but uh, you want to pick something that you're going to be able to do uh, at least probably 30 to 40 equations um, is, and I use way more than that so uh, every line that you see will probably be an equation that you're going to have to put in uh, so I'll just Kind of give you a preview this is uh the one that i've done in a quarter previous to this so uh this is calvin's got all the lines in there you may notice some of these are really dark old lines uh some of these are a little thinner there's some yellow some gray uh and you know all of those are different settings that you can use on that so uh basically what you should notice right is uh when i zoom in i can't really tell those are in there until i hide the original picture and then uh, now I can see all the equations that I've used. So uh, like for this left arm here, if I just hide that uh, left arm, uh, you can see there's 13 equations that I used for that left arm. Um, sure it has a lot more because it's got a lot more stripes and lines and stuff like that, uh, but uh, all of these different pieces are equations that I've typed in. Uh, if you want to see some of them, right, there's some of them here. Uh, they may look like really complicated and scary, but uh, they're actually not going to be that bad. And we're going to use sliders and some uh, draggable features to kind of help us along the way as well. Uh, there is also uh, shading. And so if I click this shading, uh, we can kind of see different parts here have been shaded. So this is uh, all of the red, right, cream, uh, yellow white, black, like all of this stuff that, that needed shading on, on Calvin. Then uh, if I go in and put in the picture, right, uh, kind of hide that shading part, right, it should kind of match what was there before, right, so uh, this is with the shading on uh, for that. And again, this is, you know, you don't necessarily need to shade the entire figure, but uh, we are going to go through shading and you will be required to shade a portion of your figure. So uh, that will be again in a, a separate video where I detail like all of the grading schemes and uh, what's going to go through um, for this project. But I uh, just want to kind of give you an overview of what's going to happen. Uh, we'll have several checkpoints throughout the quarter. Uh, the first one is going to be just logging in and uh, getting uh, yourself set up so you can save stuff because you don't want to try to do all this in one day, uh, one go. Uh, and then you are going to need to share the link. Uh, and so saving, saving that is going to be um, part of what you're required to do there. Uh, just being able to save stuff from session to session uh, under your own Desmos account. Uh, 
as we go throughout the quarter, if you have any questions, you can uh, feel free to message me. And like I said, we'll be doing a lot more uh, videos on this project on uh, very specific things, but this is just kind of a general overview. Um, be thinking about what picture you might want to do. Uh, cartoons make really good ones because uh, they have like nice distinct lines, uh, kind of nice um, areas of color that don't vary too much, right? So, you know, there's like red, orange, yellow. There's, there's not a, a ton of colors in here. Uh, and that tends to happen in, in cartoons. You're not required to do a cartoon, but uh, those do tend to be a little easier than uh, some other pictures. So uh, anyway, just wanted to give uh, this general overview so you can start thinking about uh, what you might want to model with equations.